Hello, welcome to chapter 13, Bootstrap Table Classes, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn the Bootstrap Table Classes. Okay, using the Bootstrap Table Classes, we can style the tables. Okay, and Bootstrap provides us a list of table classes. They include table, table striped, table bordered, table over, table condensed, and table responsive. Okay, we are, under we are going to understand the each of the importance of the classes present here when we start coding in Visual Studio. And right now, let us jump into Visual Studio and let me start coding. Okay, this is an empty web project present here and it is also the bootstrap enabled. Okay, web page you can observe here and what I've done is I've already taken a table content. Okay, here you can observe I'm having a table with uh, five contents in it, with five rows in it. Okay, totally six rows, but including the data, we have only five rows. Okay, I'm having a table content present here. Now, let me run this page on the browser. Let me see how it looks. Okay, when I run this page on the browser, the build has succeeded, and now it's pushing this page to the browser. Let us see how it renders. Okay, this is the typical table how it is going to render. Okay, now how to make this style, how to make this table beautiful. Okay. In order to make this table very beautiful, we have a bootstrap classes available. They include table, table stripe, bordered, hover, condensed, and responsive. And using all these classes, we can make this table more stylish and also responsive. How do I do that? It's very simple. Now, to this table tag, let me go and add the first and foremost the basic styling tag, styling class that is table class. What what does this table class does? Okay, this table class does a basic styling. Basic styling in the sense, let us see how, what is that basic styling. When I press F5, you can observe when I added a class table to the table tag, it did the basic styling. Basic styling includes getting a horizontal line, okay, and also uh, the padding the content. Earlier it was like condensed. Now the uh, now the content is padded, and also we have a horizontal line. That's the advantage of using this table class. Okay, and what it does, it does the basic styling as we saw. This is the basic styling it has done. Now, the second class present here is table striped. If I want a zebra striped um, content or zebra zebra striped table, then what I have to do is I want to use this table striped class. How do how do I use that? It's very simple. To this table class, what I've added here, I have to give a space. Then I have to add table striped. When I once I add that. What what's going to happen? It's going to provide me a zebra striped table. Okay. Now let me go back and let me press F5. Currently, you can observe none of the row is colored. Okay. When I press F5, it's going to provide me a striped table. Okay. Now you observe it very clearly. You can observe it's a striped table. First row is colored and the second row is not colored. Again, the third one is colored and the third fourth one is not colored. Uh, respectively, the fifth one. This this is what we call a striped table, or we also call a zebra striped table. Okay. Now let me come back here and let us understand what we mean by table bordered. Okay, what it does it for table with the borders on all sides of the tables and cells. In the sense, currently we don't have borders. We have only borders at the bottom. Now, if I want a border to the entire table and each of the cell present here, then how do I do that? It's very simple. We have to add a table bordered class. Okay, Control S and coming back to my browser and when I press F5, here you can observe it's going. It's providing us the border to all the content, all the row and also the each of the cell present here okay and that's what the advantage of using this uh, table border and let me show you the table over to highlight the row on over in the sense when I move over move over my mouse on the respective row it has to be uh, it has to pr uh, show some color okay how do I do that and that can be done using the class called table over now when I do this and come back to my browser and let me press F5 now you observe when I'm move over my mouse on the respective row it's going to it's showing me some color on that when I move over on that okay to understand very clearly let me remove the striped because striped is disturbing us now when I come back and my refresh now you can observe when I move over my mouse any of the row it's going to give me the color okay showing me the on over it's showing me the background color okay that's what it's doing okay and the second one is table condensed Okay, how to make the table contents? What it does is it makes the cells more compact by cutting cell padding in half. In the sense, currently this table is having the padding. Each of the row is having the padding. Now I want to cut that padding into half of that. F imagine, for example, this table is having a padding of 10 pixel. When I add, when I had a class called table contents, that padding is reduced half of that. In the sense, when I add a table 
when I add a table condensed class, the padding becomes 5 pixel. Okay, how to do that? It's very simple. Come here and add table condensed and let me go back to my browser let me refresh you can observe the table will get condensed okay it reduces the padding off of it correct this is what the advantage of using this table condensed and coming to the table responsive what do you mean by table responsive why why we should add this table responsive class to understand that let me jump back to my browser now you can observe this is the large screen device okay the table is completely visible but when i move to the medium device and also the extra small device you can observe the name Okay, when I, I when I immediately came to my medium size device or the small devices, extra small devices, you can observe the name is coming down, and also at the bottom we are getting horizontal scroll bar, and this is not the responsive page. In the sense also that it's not a responsive table. And how do I make my responsive table? In the sense, this horizontal table should not come to the entire page. Instead of that, it should come to the table itself, and also this name should not come down. John Maxwell or Sam Apple should come in a single line, and that is what we call responsive table and how do I achieve it okay achieving at achieving that type of table it's very easy because bootstrap is going to provide us one class for that that is table responsive okay let me go back and let me add a table responsive class what is table responsive when I press ctrl s and when I come back and when I refresh if I now I have added a table responsive now you observe I'm moving my content to the extra small device now also the name is coming to the next line and I'm also getting the horizontal scroll bar okay why because keep in mind we should not add the table responsive class to the table tag itself instead of that we are to enable this table tag between the other element another element and to that element we have to add the table responsive class in the sense we should not add the table responsive class to the table tag itself instead of that we have to take one due element okay and to this, this new element, what we have to do is we have to cut and paste the entire table present here inside it. Okay. Then we have to add the table. Then we have to add the table responsive class to the div. Okay. Not to the table. Keep in mind class table responsive class. Done. Now when I go back and when I refresh this page, now the table responsive will works or see or not. Let us see now. Now when I render it to the extra small device you can observe you can observe the name is not coming down it's displaying a single line and also we are not getting a horizontal scroll bar at the end of the page instead of that we are getting a horizontal scroll bar to the table itself okay this is what we call a responsive table you can observe here okay this is very beautiful and very worth okay uh, using this bootstrap table classes because it's going to provide us the horizontal bar, horizontal scroll bar to the table itself not to the entire page okay and it is making the table responsive the name is also not rendering down it's coming in a single line that's what the ad advantage of using this bootstrap table classes okay we learned the advantage of using all these table classes and also we are left with some some part okay bootstrap contextual classes to color rows or individual cells okay in the sense we can color the row or as well as the individual cells using these classes these are called contextual classes now what I'll do is I'll come back to my page okay you can observe here um, I'm having this row okay to this row I'll add a class called active okay similarly I'll add a class called danger and to this row I'll add a class called info okay and to this table I add a class called success and to this table I'll add a class called warning these are the bootstrap contextual classes used to color the table now when I go back and when I refresh this page you can observe here each row is colored in different manner based on the contextual classes okay now if I want to style the individual cell okay that also can be done so what I'll do I'll come back here and I'll just do control Z such that I can remove all the classes whatever I added okay now what I for example if I want this uh, each individual cell to become to add a bootstrap contextual classes then I can do it it's active and this is danger and this is warning 
Okay, now when I go back and when I refresh this page, you can observe the contextual classes are added to indi individual cell also. In the sense, we can use this contextual classes to the entire row or to the individual cells also. That's the advantage of using this bootstrap table classes. Okay, I hope you understood the advantage of using the bootstrap table classes and also the contextual classes. And uh, we also saw a beautiful demo. And last but not the least, uh, please don't forget to, sub to subscribe to our YouTube channel Ankh Pro Training. And you can also like our page visiting these URLs. We are also on Twitter. You can follow us. And for further references, you can visit this website. And we are on LinkedIn too. Okay. And last but not the least, please don't forget to sub. Uh, please don't forget to give the feedback. And finally, thank you for listening. Have a great day.